What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're gonna check out the Lhasa Lammer Signature Plugin from STL Tones. Let's do it! Okay, hope you guys are doing great out there today. That intro clip that you just heard, the Mean Machine and the Driftwood Purple Nightmare set up left and right, and man, it was just so easy for me to get those great tones out of the box. First off, I wanna say thank you to Lhasa right off the bat because he actually reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking this out. Didn't ask me to make a video or anything like that, but just wanted to hear my thoughts on the plugin and knowing that I owned a couple of these amps that are in here, how I thought they compared to the real deal. If you guys are unfamiliar with Lhasa, he is a German engineer and producer. Now how I know him is back in my early tone chasing days when I first started checking into a lot of really cool high gain amps, his channel was one of the only ones that had lots of great high gain amps featured such as the Bogner Ubershaw, the Dietzel Herbert, VH4. He also had a bunch of uh, really cool cab demos for cabs that weren't super common when I was cab shopping and trying to figure out what I really wanted to do there. So the man has been an inspiration to me and my YouTube channel since I started. He is somebody that I've looked up to for a really long time so again thank you man so much for sending this out to me to check out I appreciate it so without further ado let's jump into this plugin and see what we have in store for ourselves so without further ado let's jump into this plugin and see what is going on because there is a lot going on in this thing also my dogs are killing themselves in the background so please uh, try to disregard that if you can hear it in the mic go lay down bud go lay down all right guys so when you pull this plugin up this is the very first thing that comes up you're on the Thrash 800 setting. So in here, it brings you to the main amp. Hi, can you guys please leave me alone? I'm gonna turn the gate up real quick because I do have some noise in my room, but when you first bring the plugin up, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna be on the Thrash 800 setup, which brings you to a JCM 800 with the Legendary Tones Hot Mod installed. Now, if you guys have been following my channel, you'll know that David and I are friends and I have been using the Hot Mod for quite a while. I think it's an absolutely awesome piece of gear if you own a JCM 800. So for me, really, really cool to see David's Hot Mod actually featured and named and presented right on the front of the amp. And you guys can see toggling the gain and the deep switches on how much of a difference it makes. So if you own an 800 and you're playing this plugin, you've been curious about the Hot Mod, this will kind of show you what it's capable of. So I thought that was a really cool addition and I was kind of sold right off the bat on that. For some reason, every dog wants my attention right now. What? <coughs> Apparently I'm never gonna get anything done. <coughs> yeah, I'm coming. Okay, we are back. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, yeah, let's kind of dive into some of the features of the plugin real quick before we actually start hearing some of the tones. Also, real quick, if this is your first time here at my channel, what I do is I take awesome high gain amps, plugins, guitar cabinets, overdrive pedals, and guitars that are apparently hot, record them through a simple SM57 setup, or in this case, I record the plugin and present it to you guys as I'm recording it with no post-processing. So if you guys are into E-Standard thrash riffs and dudes who really enjoy artists and tacos, you're in the right place. If you like the video, consider hitting the like button and subscribing on your way out so you don't miss the next one. Consider joining my Patreon, my Facebook group, or my Discord server in order to further interact with the community that we're building here. Thanks. Okay guys, so boom, right here you have your three amp options. We've got the Driftwood Purple Nightmare, the Frank Dieter, which is basically a Dietzel Herbert, 
and the Mean Machine, which is what we're on, which is that hot rod modded JCM 800. So the Frank Dieter is essentially a Dietzel Herbert and I own this amp as well. So I can tell you that this thing sounds great. It sounds very much like the real deal. And the Driftwood Purple Nightmare, which is a super popular boutique high gain monster amp. And it sounds great as well. So that's what you get as far as the amplifiers. Down here, you've also got a tuner, you've got a gate. If I turn that down, we get lots of nice noise that everybody loves to listen to. All right, in here, the stomp boxes. I found this part really interesting because nobody really gives you an, a graphic EQ in front of the amp in these plugins. So I thought that that was a nice touch and you get it uh, with uh, loss of settings right off the bat here as far as how he would dial it in for a thrash type tone. And then you've got the liver kick, which appears to be some sort of boost. I don't know if it's a Tube Screamer style boost or if it's like a... I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's like a TC integrated preamp type uh, circuit, but I could be wrong there. That's just my guess based on what it sounds like in the controls. And then over here, you've got a Maxon 808 uh, anniversary style pedal. So that's going to be like your standard Tube Screamer style pedal. Okay, so over in the cabinets, this is actually my favorite part of the whole plugin. Not only do you get multiple cabinets and he's got multiple different speakers each one has five different mic options but you also get the option to change the angle literally by one degree for every single mic it, it just gives you an infinite amount of speaker blending possibilities you could spend all day just in the ir section and i can tell you each one of these cabinets and ir sounds awesome so it's a really really cool feature if you go in here like you want to change it to the gasoline which i'm going to say is a diesel front loaded k100 cab the fk 400 i believe the model is boom you change it and you can visibly see you've got a different cabinet because there's graphics for each individual cab you can move this mic wherever you want you can change the angle you can change the distance there's just a lot going on here this is a really well thought out and I'm sure it was extremely time consuming to get all these mic angles because if you watch Loss's video explaining this, he will tell you that each one of these positions is a real position. They're not simulated. They actually mic'd these cabinets like each individual position for this. So each one is a real IR. I had to imagine that that's insanely painstaking to put that much detail into the miking. Bravo to Lhasa and STL Tones for putting that much work into this thing, but I can tell you it paid off. The IR section, in my opinion, is the best part of this entire plugin. It's extremely well done. So really, really digging this. Even if I'm using other plugins, I tend to find myself disabling the amp and the stomp boxes on here and using the IR section to kind of help dial in whatever I'm using. So this one is really, really cool. Finally, you have the effects. So you've got a post preamp equalizer, a 10 band EQ, and not only does it have your standard 10 band EQ controls, but you've got a thud and a smooth. So the smooth kind of obviously smooths out the top end, makes the amp sound a little bit more polite, not as ratty or as harsh on top. The thud adds some low end bump. So if the, like the JCM 800 model sounds a little bit thin on the lows as a JCM 800 kind of tends to sometimes compared to modern amps, you can dial that thud up and dial some lower frequencies on the 10 band EQ and you've got some low end there. So also we've got a delay and a reverb, but I am a belligerent amateur and I don't know what I'm doing with those effects. So I'm just gonna leave those for somebody who can actually demo them properly. But anyways, yeah, let's dive into some of these tones. We're gonna go straight into the one that comes loaded up. This is the thrash tone. Lots and lots of gain there, lots of gain. Let's turn that gate up. Also, for my guitar, I am using my LTD EC401VF with the stock Duncan JB in the bridge. So that is what you guys are hearing. I have guitar straight into my interface, the plug-in, no post-processing. So that's what you're hearing for all these tones. <laughs> One thing that I noticed right off the bat with this, most JCM 800 plugins that I have played, not that accurate. There is a, like a top end, I always call it a Kerrang because when I was back reading forums, somebody described it as that. I always thought it was a cool, um, I don't even know, what, what do you call those words? I don't know, I'm stupid. Yeah, there's just a bright top end um, stringiness or, or uh, harshness to a JCM 800, which I've never really heard like a sim or a plug-in get right. They always seem really smoothed out on the top end. So this one. It's there. It is definitely there. And that was one of the first things I noticed about this plug-in.
All right, so let's try, let's go in here and I'll show you um, how much moving the mic's around. <laughs> So moving those mics around makes a massive difference. Let's pull the level down on this EQ because it's pretty extreme. We'll pull some of these down as well because I'm playing a standard tune guitar. And there it's a little bit more natural. Let's turn on the Tube Screamer. That sounds fantastic. You don't have to do much there in order to get a good tone out of this thing. So really enjoying that. Now, as always, Marshall sound great through greenbacks. So let's go to the G12M sim here. Let's throw a ribbon 160. That sounds awesome, guys. All right, so right off the bat, that sounds dope. In here, you've got some of his album tones. So we've got A Night in Texas. Let's hear what that sounds like. So that's intense. That is a shitload of reverb and a little bit of delay. Uh, let's go to Ailstorm. So that sounds awesome. If you go in here, you've got the default and it takes you to the amps basically with everything dialed at noon and no stomp boxes on, no post EQ stuff on. So everything's basically how you would want to dial it from noon. So that's a nice feature too. So there's your Dietzel and we have the gasoline cabinet, the K100 and the V30 both. So that's kind of a nice touch. Let's dial in a tone real quick, all right? Let's kick this EQ on. I do like pulling some of these lower frequencies out just to make things a little bit tighter and punchier in the low end. Let's kick this in. So that's where we are. Let's get some more mids. One of the tricks on the Dietzel, the real amp, to dialing it in is turning this mid cut on, putting the intensity just barely on, and then dialing the level up, it actually seems to add this like upper mid bump even though it's a mid cut. And it really, the amp is so smooth, it just adds some pokey frequencies up top that the amp really needs in my opinion. Let's go in here, let's change one of these cabinets. Let's. Uh, actually, let's change the mic because I'm not a huge fan of the 421. Let's do the Ribbon 160. Awesome tone. I love this plugin, guys. This thing sounds great. Three very different amps, so it's really cool to kind of be able to mess with each and every one. So we're gonna go in here. My man, Jason Frankhauser, AKA Killer Tones Texas. If you're not familiar with him, what the hell are you doing with your life? The man is a thrash tone god and has an awesome YouTube channel as well. He sent me over this preset bank to check out. So let's do Killer Nightmare. And unsurprisingly, he's got a great tone set up for us here. So.
That sounds dope. So you can go online and find other people's preset banks and download them. Jason did a killer job on that one. Let's do killer D's. Woo! That's a hot tamale. All right, let's turn a little bit of gain down here. Check out one more of Jason's. JCM8, awesome. All right, so let's kick that deep switch on. All right, so that sounds absolutely great, man. Good job, Jason, as always. I actually have made three simple presets for this. If you guys wanna go online and download those, I will put the link down in the description of where to find my three presets. I made one for each amp. First off is Amateur D-Power. <laughs> If you can't tell, I like my mids, and sometimes I don't realize how much until after I've played somebody else's presets right before mine. There we go, we'll go ahead and save that preset. All right, so there's that one. Let's go into preset number two, and this is Thrash Potatoes. <laughs> which as you can see is the Mean Machine, the JCM800 over here on the cabinet. I have Ribbon 160 on the G12M and then we've got the Angle V30 with the SM57 directly on and final preset, belligerently purple. So this is the purple. And I think that might be the best sounding one out of all of them. We're gonna roll that volume back just a tad to volume match everything else. Okay guys, so that is the purple nightmare preset that I have. If you guys want these presets, again, you can go down into the description of this video and I'll have a link to them. But yeah, overall, I think this plugin is absolutely awesome. This is probably my favorite plugin that I've tried to date. All three amps are very accurate. The Purple Nightmare is the only one I don't have extensive experience with, but I have heard them in the room a few times as one of my guitars has one and it seems right on. So again, the IR section of this plugin set is great. I really, really dig it. I think it's the best part of the whole thing. The amp models are great, but I really, really dig the IRs and the amount of options that are built in here. And I think that they all sound really accurate and nice. Uh, the stomp boxes are a nice feature. And then you've got the post effects as well, where the EQ, you can really make a big difference in how things sound there. So this thing is super feature packed. Highly recommend it if you guys are into the high gain tones and you want a plugin that has some versatility to it. It has some different sounding amps. This thing is a great value. Lasa, you did a great job on this thing, STL Tones, really, really good job. Thanks again for sending this to me and letting me check it out, man. I feel very privileged that you reached out to me in order to do this, so yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm actually going to continue playing this plugin for a little while because I'm having a good time. So thanks again for watching. Consider subscribing if you liked the video. Hit the like button on the way out. Kyle here again. We'll see you guys next time.